Hi friends, welcome to the weekly news from Indian manufacturing sector. We are in week 8 of 2022, that is between 21st of February to 26th of February. Come, let's get started. First, let us look at the automotive sector news. Euler Motors plans rupees 200 crore investment to expand production. Euler Motor production capability of 4,000 vehicles per annum. Now it plans to reach 35,000 units per annum by the end of 2023. Uh, Island Motor says it will invest about 200 crore over the next 12 months to develop advanced state-of-the-art shop floors in order to drive up the production capacity at its two existing facilities in Delhi and CR region. It was in October 2021, the company launched the High Load EV. This High Load vehicle has better load capacity, powerful performance and higher returns. So it is in demand across segments, both in retail as well as in e-commerce all over India. The next news is from Apollo Tires. Apollo Tires is going to be the OE tire for uh, Baleno. Uh, Apollo Tires, a leading tire manufacturer in India, has announced that its Alnac 4G tires has been chosen as the OE fitment for the newly launched ba Maruti Suzuki Baleno. It will be the supplier in domestic market to Maruti Suzuki for the new Baleno. And it comes, uh, comes fitted with uh, Apollo Alnac 4Gs in two sizes, 195 bar 55 R16s and 185 bar 65 R15s. This Apollo Alnac 4G tire has a unique mix of combo which ensures maximum traction, shorter braking distances both on wet and dry surfaces. Uh, these tires feature a modern and sporty tread pattern easily and precisely responds to unexpected steering corrections providing maximum driving safety. Next we move on to uh, Autobots uh, Academy. Uh, they have launched courses for EV servicing and maintenance. This particular course aims to develop a lead level service maintenance engineers, technicians, to support the EV industry. So they have estimated that the company will have an EV industry worth rupees 500 billion by the end of 2025. This surge will also be a massive employment opportunity for the trained and professionally skilled EV service and maintenance engineers and technicians. This particular course will provide a professional certification course for the electric two-wheeler segment. A three-month course will be blended both online and offline versions for you know, uh, Autobot level two certification. TVS has crossed 1 million export in two wheelers. The TVS Motor Company has exported more than 1 million two wheelers. It has achieved this milestone in a financial year for the first time. The key export uh, models include Apache series, HLX series, Rider, and Neo series. The company saw a big increase in the global motorcycle sales that has contributed to this particular increase. The two wheeler company has also registered a sales of 2,54,139 units in January 2022. Exports were at 86,344 units in Jan 2022 as against 89,380 units in Jan 2021. The company's two-wheeler export grew by 12% compared to the Q3 of the last financial year. Next, we move on to FMCG industry. Dabur commences construction for the manufacturing facility in Madhya Pradesh. Uh, this particular uh, facility is, uh, is going to be a part of a phased investment of about 550 crore and this particular new unit would manufacture Dabur's food products, Ayurvedic medicines and health supplements. The first phase of construction of this new facility, which has been planned under the mega project scheme of Madhya Pradesh as well as the PLI scheme, is scheduled for completion by the end of 2022, the financial year. Uh, located in the smart industrial park near Indore, this unit will provide direct and indirect op employment opportunity for about 1250 people initially and more than 3,000 people at the end of the final phase. Next, we move on to electrical and electronic segment. Electric vehicle maker Omega Seeky Mobility OSM has formed a strategic partnership with logistics provider Zingo to supply 1,500 e-cargo three-wheelers called Rage Plus to the uh, Zingo company for the last mile delivery in uh, Pan-India. The last mile delivery has been uh, seeing an exponential growth with a lot of players coming in and it is going to you know, increase by six times to more than 5,000 million shipments in the next three years. Zingo makes the best use of the modern technology to ensure optimum service efficiency, fleet utilization and productivity. A high-tech app along with GPS and IoT enabled vehicle tracking systems help it to manage the logistics operations. The next news is from Hero Motor Corp. Hero Motor Corp is partnering with BPCL to establish uh, electric vehicle charging infrastructure in India. Bharat Petroleum has already announced uh, uh, creating this EV fast charging corridor between Chennai, Trichy, Madurai Highway. It has rolled out CCS2 DC fast chargers at 10 of its conveniently located fuel station across the 900 km route on both sides of the highway. The company is converting 7,000 conventional retail outlets into energy stations. 
providing multiple fueling options which will also include EV charging facility in the medium to long term. The partnership with BBCL which is already at the forefront of the customer energy solutions will be beneficial for both the EV segment and customers. So these are all some of the news from the Indian manufacturing sector. I hope you like this particular video. Please subscribe to our channel to learn a lot about Indian manufacturing sector and also about lean manufacturing. Please click the bell icon so that whenever we post a new video, you will get a notification. Thank you for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye.